If you've ever wondered what it takes to score extremely high in World of Tanks, well this battle is for you. This is a 20,000 win 8 battle. And to put that into perspective, uh, Super Unicums only need to score 2,900 in a battle, and uh, to get an Ace Tanker medal in the Chaffee, you only need to score maybe seven to 10,000. So this game here is the equivalent of about six Super Unicum games all rolled into one, or about two or three ace tankers all in one battle. So to start off, I would normally scout down into the gorge, but uh, my team didn't look like they were going to this side of the map at all, so I decided to hang out uh, in relative safety behind the rock here. And I'm getting... Uh, some sniping flanking shots on these guys as they come uh, push forward. Now I see this 5916 uh, jump over the train tracks so I figure well let's go help out the T29. The WZ hits me with a good shot, and until the end of the battle, that's the only time I'll get hit. Now I'm rather nervous around this rock, because <clears throat> I'm expecting to get shot at from the right. But surprisingly, I'm not. Uh, the entire red team appears to have left the center north open, which is lucky for me, because that gives me a place to hide here and wait for the T-29 to come and help. So I'm just happy to sit here and wait and not risk anything. I'm waiting for the T-29 to pull forward and spot the Ferdinand. And while we wait, why don't we look over, see if we can get shots on anyone else, and no, we can't. So again, it's just a waiting game. And I take matters into my own hands and try and spot him myself, which gives the T-29 courage and he pulls forward, which is what I need. I need the Ferdinand to take his attention off of me so I can go around and flank him. Now like most uh, heavily armored, much higher tier tanks do quite often, they ignore the chaffee behind them. And that is not a very good thing to do. and the T-29 comes around and tries to steal my kill, but luckily he misses. And now we are down three, and things are not looking good. Now invisible shots are always uh, one of my favorite shots to take. And unfortunately he goes behind cover. And no sooner do we come around the corner than we catch a TD completely unaware. And we try and make his day as miserable as possible. Turretless TVs absolutely hate the Chaffee. And Artie even takes a shot at me there with his, his friend likely inside his reticle, or at least on the very corner or edge of it. And if you can get behind a turretless TV with a light tank, uh, it's not much of a battle. <laughs> it's over pretty quick. <laughs> 
Now I know the arty just fired, so that gives me time to load AG and uh, just have my way with him. And now I figure that I should cap because I don't think any of those tanks are going to be fast enough to get to the cap to reset. But I am wrong, <laughs> as an IS-3 makes it here way before I thought he was going to, and kills me with the second shot I took in the game. Now we skip ahead here, and it is now down to two bad guys on a lonely Ferdinand. And luckily, he's higher tiered than they are. But still, two on one is never a good place to be on the one side. And of course, missing that shot didn't help. He puts down the T-29 and... Will he survive? The game comes right down to the wire, and we win. And that is a 20,000 win 8 game.